Hello and welcome back to another busy instalment of the ABC of EVs, our series telling you more about the world of electric vehicles, picking up where we left off in the latest in our series of videos about batteries. And one of the most important elements of EV batteries, one that garners much attention today. Stick around for the details. My name is Martin Lee. Welcome to the channel. If you like what we do here, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon. That means you'll never miss a show. Let's get the basics out of the way right now. What is cobalt? Cobalt is an element. It sits in the periodic table, kind of in the upper middle right section. And sat right next to it is its brother in arms, battery arms if you like, nickel. And it's tended to be a byproduct of nickel and copper mining. It's one of the four ferromagnetic elements in the periodic table so clear so far, right? We want to go back to school on this channel though. So let's talk about where we get it from. Cobalt is mined in a number of countries around the world, but the main place is definitely the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And this is what gathers a lot of press attention and we want to address this issue first of all. According to the United States Geological Survey, more than half of global production happened there, at least in 2017. And more recent volumes suggest that it's around a quarter. So it's not surprising then the DRC has about half of the world's reserves of this very valuable commodity. Australia also has significant reserves. They have about 1.2 million tonnes. So what do we use it for? Well, we've been using cobalt in some form or another for a really long time. It's crucial to the health of all animals. It's found in the vitamin B12. We've also used it in glass firing and, and pottery for hundreds of years to give these kind of products a rich blue color. So cobalt has a wide variety of uses. Historically, its main use has been in super alloys thanks to its heat resistance. So in jet engines and gas turbines and things like that. But in modern times, we are using an increasing amount of cobalt in the desulfurization of petroleum. It's used as a catalyst to extract sulfur from petrol, from diesel, from jet fuels. So it's very closely tied in to the fossil fuel industry. May also be news to those naysayers who criticize EVs for cobalt use in batteries. So why do we use it in batteries? Now let's move on to the main reason that we're here today, and that's about cobalt use in electric vehicle batteries. Now look, it is worth pointing out at this stage, there's no one type of battery. There are EV batteries that don't use cobalt. There are plenty of batteries around the world in consumer goods, mobile phones and laptop batteries. They may not be the exact same as what you see in a, a hearing aid or then a television remote control. It's likely very different chemistries from what you'll find in a Tesla or a Lucid, for example. Now, batteries come in different forms and sizes and chemistries. So let's look at the role of cobalt in electric vehicles today. And it is changing, but we'll look at the current situation. When it comes to batteries, it's all about removing and adding electrons. That transfer is what makes our EVs go forward. Ultimately, it's how we develop current that powers motors. Hey, you probably know this already. Cobalt is an element that's really, really good at doing that. John Goodenough and his team kick-started that in the, I would say, late 1970s with the lithium-ion battery. So we found that lithium is a great element in the use of batteries, but it is highly unstable and reacts to things like moisture and the air. So it's used in a compound of lithium, cobalt and oxygen, or LiCO2. I suppose you could say that cobalt and oxygen is the stable one in the battery relationship. But we're going to pause for just a second because it's important we don't give the impression that every single EV on the roads has a load of cobalt in its battery. Tesla, for example, well, they've almost eliminated cobalt from their batteries, opting for other chemistries instead. So how do we get our hands on cobalt and why is it important to know? Well, as the phrase goes, it doesn't grow on trees. You have to go out and get it. And about three quarters of the world's supply of cobalt, the last time 
The data showed it was coming from the DRC and in this location huge deposits of copper cobalt. In most other locations around the world we see it in combination with nickel. It's in these locations that we mine for cobalt. Now, in the DRC there is a large element of artisanal mining. Let's call it what it is. That means mining by hand. And although it's sometimes exaggerated and misrepresented, some of that hand mining is done illegally or in unsafe circumstances or, and this is something that we talk about in the electric vehicle world, some of that mining is done by children. It's a horrible practice and car companies, car manufacturers, sell suppliers have long insisted on ethical practices and fair working conditions, ensuring that the supply chain for their batteries are untainted by these practices. So whilst we know it happens, car makers for a long time have chosen to acquire their cobalt from places where they can track that supply chain and ensure that their batteries are not part of this horrible practice. EV batteries are lasting so much longer than people anticipated and a whole lot longer than the naysayers want you to believe. There's going to be a time though when EV batteries finish their useful lives. After they're in vehicles they might become storage and then they'll be recycled. Now cobalt is highly valuable having peaked at around $100,000 per tonne at one stage. So it may well provide added incentives for people to really get into battery recycling and we think that's going to be a future massive industry. So again, this series on our channel is never meant to be a science lesson. We're not going back to school, but we do want to introduce you to some of the elements around batteries. And we've done our best once again to try and introduce you to those kind of topics. But we'd like to know what you think. Did we hit the mark today? Did you find this video useful? Let us know in the comments below. How do you feel about cobalt being used in EV batteries? Should we only be using chemistries that entirely eliminate it, even if it means less energy density or slightly worse performance of our cars? Do you find the use of cobalt is a frequent criticism of EVs from those that like to criticize EVs. And how do you feel about that? Well, thank you so much for watching today. If you like what we do here, hit the thumbs up icon. It shows us you like this and we'll make more videos.